for far your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. A boon them ye take... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was just reading some poetry by Robert Burns, which is weird really, because this week's episode of Dandy TV, we're going to be finding out all about Burns Night and working out what goes into a haggis and hearing some of your jokes. But before all of that, it's time for the news at Dan. Over to Chris. Thanks very much, Chris. MI5 have arrested a Russian spy after he was discovered in a bed shop in Aberdeen. Apparently, the spy had been working undercover. British Airways have announced a new route available exclusively to sheep. Flights start next month and will take the animals to the Bahamas. Sports news now in the World Basketball Championship final had to be called off last night after the court was deemed to be too wet. A spokesman said it was because the players kept dribbling. And finally, I rushed to the rescue in my family after my mum's sister fell and cut her knee. I gave her some antiseptic. That's it for the Dandy News this week. Back to you, Chris. Please may I have my badger. The 25th of January is a very important date indeed. It's the birthday of one of Scotland's most famous poets, Robert Burns. Now, although he only lived for 37 years, he rolled out hit after hit after hit. Essentially, he was an 18th century Lady Gaga. Here's an artist's impression of him. And here's my impression of him. Hello everybody, I'm Robert Burns. Good. Now, his most famous work, arguably, is Old Lang Syne, which is sung all over the world on New Year's Eve. It's almost as popular as Gangnam Style. Now, to celebrate Burns Night, Scottish people all meet up, read Robert Burns' work and eat haggis. I don't know anything about haggis, but it sounds delicious. And so I can find out more, I've come to Keevil and Keevil's Butcher to see if I can get my hands on some of this Scottish famous delicacy. Well, here we are at Keevil and Keevils. I'm here with Peter and Barry. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, I see in your hands there, you've got a haggis. Exactly what is haggis? It's sheep's intestines, basically. Basically, offal, sheep's offal, in a sheep's, wrapped in a sheep's stomach. Sound good? Mm, mm. That's the well, up lungs and also meal. Cereal would be oats and oat barley. Meal, oat meal. Just to pad out the intestines, really. Yeah. Okay, it sounds disgusting. It, is it, Barry? Uh, slightly. Well, slightly. Yeah. It's I mean, very, if, very nice, actually. It is it's right. Very, very nice. If you, you would, try it. if you were to run out of intestines, could you just get like a, a dead pigeon and just you know, put that in? No, you couldn't do that. No. Right. Definitely couldn't do it. A, there is a very strict recipe to go in. Right. Luckily, this is frozen, so I'm assuming I'm not going to have to eat this at the moment. Is it something you guys eat regularly? Do yeah, yeah. annually, usually twenty uh, fifth uh, of January sure. is the time to eat it. So we yes we do participate in that. Because it's so disgusting, mm. is that why you only eat it one night a year? No, it's eaten all through the year. Oh but right, it's not disgusting. Okay, it is nice, is it? Uh, okay, yeah. um, and it sounds very weird as a as a meat. Is it the weirdest thing you've ever eaten, or, or have you eaten stranger things? Barry's eating crocodile, aren't you, Barry? Crocodile, yeah. yeah. Right, that sounds one. that sounds more appealing. Ah, very nice. Okay, now listen, haggis aside. It sounds funny, but not as funny as the joke I'm about to tell you. You ready? It's right. It's look forward to this. Okay. Uh, what's a butcher's favourite film? Meet the parents. Because <coughs> of the, the meat bit. Is it? Okay, let's see if you can do better. It's time for your jokes. Where do pirates like to shop? Argos. What's brown and sticky? A stick. The snowman says the old snowman. Can you smell carrots? Those jokes were ace, and if you think you can make us laugh, then send us a video of your jokes to jokesatdandy.com. Right, sadly, that's it for this week. Happy Burns Night to you. Join me next time when I'm going to be learning all about rugby. Bye. Uh, old acquaintance be forgot. <laughs> old Lang Syne. <laughs>